Oh, good morning, everybody. Uh, you you uh, arrived a little earlier than I thought. Uh, just in the middle of uh, doing my uh, shave down on this uh, Sunday, June the 5th, 2011. Oh, it's weird. It is really weird trying to shave looking into a video screen like this. Oh, weird. I guess it's kind of like a mirror, right? Yeah. I went out on a long hike yesterday, and I forgot to wear my hat. <laughs> so as you can see, I got kind of sunburned up here, kind of a red head. Uh, it's not too terribly painful, but uh, I have to remember to, care to wear my cap. Um, it's nice to walk to, you know, it gets hot. You know, you're walking around on a hot day, taking a long hike, and you got this hat on, and you sweat. So it's nice to take the hat off, and I often will, if I have the hat with me, I'll take the hat off while I'm in the shady area, so I cool down, and then when I go in the sun, I put the hat back on. Uh, it's kind of a nuisance, but yesterday, I just, you know, it wasn't super sunny yesterday. It, it was nice, you know, it was nice wind blowing and all that, so I felt nice and cool, so I just forgot the hat, went out on a long hike, and took my walk, and got the sun, didn't think much of it until I got back, and sat down yesterday evening and went, oh, my head hurts. Well, anyhow, uh, DCR TV is still up and running, thanks to the good folks at Pear.com. That's Pear.com, uh, Pittsburgh uh, internet provider. There, they they they're really good webs. They're a really good server provider. You know, I've been using Pear for oh gosh, I don't know how long now, close to a decade, something like that, seven eight years, and they have always uh, I, I really no downtime. You know, they do, they, and if, and if something does go wrong with a server or something, you email them and literally 10, 15 minutes, it's back up and running. And I really do appreciate the way they've uh, handled this. You know, we were down, the site was down for about, uh, oh, 18 hours on uh, late Thursday, early Friday. And then they got us up working on a, we're on a um, robust server of some sort. I'm not quite sure what, but uh, page loads, you know, the, the text is loading fine. Some of the graphics are slow and we're having some problems with that, but hopefully that'll get all fixed up next week or later in this week. So uh, stay tuned. But uh, thank you to them. They've kept us up and running and uh, still have no idea what's going on with this attacky thing. No idea. But, uh, you know, if I find stuff out, I'll let you know. Got some interesting tips about things. <laughs> but uh, whatever. Do, 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 do. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, 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 let me give you some news while I'm here, right? Uh, looks like Katie Couric, the, the trade pubs are all buzz, buzz, buzz. DC Media Pixie Katie Couric is going to be starting a talk show that's going to be syndicated by ABC Disney. Now, that means that Katie's new show, which will probably be an afternoon type show, probably like 4 o'clock-ish to fill the space of Oprah, uh, that show will be... Um, uh, shown on all of the ABC-owned stations, okay? So there aren't any ABC-owned stations here in the Washington, Baltimore area. The ABC affiliate in Baltimore is owned by Scripps, and the ABC affiliate in D.C. is owned by Albritton. But I would guess that Albritton would, you know, Channel 7 would probably be a very likely candidate for the new Katie Couric show. So we might be seeing Katie Couric at 4 o'clock. And News 7 at 5 uh, after Oprah's show ends. Now, Oprah has finished taping her show. She's no longer taping it, but the show will run in reruns through the uh, through the summer. And then officially end its run, I think, you know, around Labor Day. And that's when the new syndicated TV season takes over. Of course, Katie Couric, as you all know, she's she grew up in Arlington. And her first big TV job is at Channel 4, WRC. And then she went on to move to the Today Show. Channel 4 is a big jumping ground. If you work at Channel 4, there's a pretty good chance they'll see you. The NBC execs will see you in New York. And a lot of people that have worked at Channel 4 have jumped to the network. Uh, they've gone to either, you know, Network News or the Today Show or something like that. So 4 is a big, you know, working at Washington Channel 4, a very high-profile NBC station, is a, is a, is a big way, a big um, jumping ground to the, um, to the network. And as we, as you probably heard, uh, we reported uh, exclusively on Friday that Lisa Baden will be heard on WMAL Radio starting... Monday. So that's interesting. I like Lisa. She's a wonderful person. You know, when my, my, my uh, mom passed away in 04, 
Um, I got a whole lot of cards and letters from folks. A lot of people I didn't even know. And I don't know Lisa. You know, we've never talked or anything. But she sent me a really nice card. You know, it just, it was, I just, my heart tugged for Lisa there. She's such a sweet person. And it's good to see that she's back on a station, at least a major station, right? <laughs> in the, in the, a radio station in the Washington area. Of course, Lisa works for Metro Traffic. And she will continue to be seen on Channel 7. Uh, where she does the morning traffic reports on the television side of things. So, be interesting to hear Lisa on the uh, WMAL morning show starting Monday. And we also reported that Tommy McFly is uh, moving from the afternoons to mornings at 94.7 Fresh FM. Um, you know, this is a tryout I'm hearing. You know, I, I don't think they're going to cast it in stone just yet, but they're going to give, you know, 94.7 doesn't really have a morning show. It never has. So I think they're going to give Tommy a shot here through the summer and see what his ratings are. And then sometime in the fall, they'll see if he does really good ratings. Then I think they're going to say, Tommy, you know, you're a permanent fixture of the station. If not, you know, I think they may just go back to a music intensive morning show. So but it'll be interesting to see where Tommy puts the show. You know, he's going to be competing with Kane over on 99.5, uh, 99 Hot 99.5. And of course, the old Jack Diamond over there at his old, old station, Mix 107.3. He'll probably put the show somewhere in the middle, you know. Kane is the younger side. Diamond is the older side. Tommy's kind of go for the, the cougar, the cougar group. <laughs> you know, of course, all three of those stations, well, all three of those stations kind of tend to be a chicky station, so we shall see. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, folks. Uh, hello. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, what else do I want to do here? I wanted to do one more thing here so I can arrange all the screens on this uh, computer. Do, 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 do. I want to uh, highlight a few of our advertisers because, again, some of the graphics aren't loading every time. So I just want to make sure you know who they are. Uh, and, you know, the Mike O'Mara Show. Mike O'Mara, great guy. Love him. Check out his podcast at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Uh, and sign up for the premium podcast. There's lots of funny stuff there. And, of course, the Carrie and Rob show. Uh, wonderful show. You know, uh, if, you, if you're a talker out there in the Mountain West, talk station, hey, it, great. Sign up for this show. It's, it's got some good stuff, and you can listen to it on the satellite there. And our good longtime advertiser there, Diploma, Diploma Plaque Laminators, you know, it's graduation time, and uh, you got that graduation, and you want to preserve that graduation certificate, and you want to preserve it, or that FCC license, or whatever, or that, you know, little, nice little award you've gotten from the Grammys, or uh, I guess you can't, I guess you can't plaque a, a Grammy, but, you know, any kind of a document that you, that, uh, you know, whatever, and then we've got Comcast Sportsnet down there, a nice, one of our longtime advertisers, too, check out the Nats Insider blog, and of course, all of our other wonderful advertisers. Let me widen the screen here so you can see them. There we go. Oh, there's Chris Core. He's a good guy. The USNI, they just uh, put up a new ad. The U.S. Naval Institute, if you're doing any kind of a defense um, reporting on your radio or TV station, they're a good place to contact. Of course, uh, there's a good old uh, Jeter's morning show, <laughs> sports show. We've got a brand new episode up every weekend, so click on the link and visit that. And of course, Pressbox, one of our one of our fine sponsors, uh, someone I write for, uh, love Stan the fan up there in Baltimore. Do a radio show with him every couple weeks on thirteen seventy R and R Engineering. There you go, that three D ad. Okay, the Dude Walker thing isn't loading on this because, but Dude's a great guy. Uh, there, there, and the, tr the boot camp, the Vinyl District, uh, good old FairfaxHomeValues.net. And, uh, of course, Jim Curtis voice tracking, a really superior uh, local voice dude. And uh, 98 Rock, of course, they've been up there on the set for a long time. Got two really cool HD2 channels, HD3 channels, HD radio channels. You know, a lot of radio stations don't put a lot of time and effort into what their uh, digital radio channels are. And 98 Rock really does. A great station there. And uh, really, I really super-duper love the... Uh, the uh, the indie rock they run. Matt Baker, another really cool voice guy. Check him out. You can hear him all over the radio dial. And DC Redbone, great hot sauce. And the cool KCJJ, where Mike O'Mara and Rob Spiewak are heard. And one of our better good sponsors there, Mark Coltrane of uh, Direct, you know, uh, the, the, the Sky TV, where you can get Direct TV. 
and Radio Funk Online and Kyle Osborne's Entertainment or Die. So uh, and some more of our great other sponsors there. Check them out, the Radio TV Museum and all that. Well, we'll spend some more time doing that. Someone said, "Hey, your picture of Kay I got I got a new picture, newer picture, of Katie Kirk." Someone said, "My picture of Lisa Bain is getting old." And that is an old picture of her. So I will. I know I have a new picture somewhere. But this was this. I was putting this thing up on uh, Friday when the uh, server was crashing, and I wasn't sitting there thinking, "Gee, I need to get a at least a picture of the century of Lisa Baden." So anyhow, <laughs> all right. Got to got to sign off for now. Got to finish up the shaving, and maybe put some uh, lotion on the head there to uh, ease the uh, sunburn pain. Don't forget to have a good one and enjoy your weekend. And uh, yeah, you know, I guess as I say, if we have some problems with DCRTV.com next week or this coming week, uh, remember we're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, and we're on Twitter. Just type in www.youtube.com slash, but just put a slash DCRTV after each one of those uh, uh, web addresses, and you'll come to our pages. And you know, we're, the flow of news will continue. So we'll see what the new week brings: fun and joy, or whatever. <laughs> Thanks a lot, folks, and have a great one. And don't forget to stay. Two.